it was negative 500, negative 500, negative 1,000, negative 500, negative 500. It was three days of like negative 7K, three days in a row. Oh, wow. That's something that, that a lot of people just have to do. You just kind of got to try this and try that, see if it works, see if it doesn't work. There's a million different strategies. There's a million different approaches. But one of the biggest things is you have to experiment, test and track and see what actually works for you. Now, yep. did you try everything, you know, oh, high price, low pretty, price, long, short, yeah. you know, penny I mean, stocks? every you know. time of day, every yeah, different yeah, yep. type of direction okay. you can go. <laughs> like, and that is necessary. Yep. Um, you do have to try a bunch of different things. I think you don't need to necessarily try everything because there are some things I think you know innately you're just not going to be good at. Well said, yep. And you still out of stubbornness think you deserve to master it if you put enough time in. But there's still strategies I've tried since day one to now, and it doesn't matter how much experience I have, I just struggle with them. And it's not necessarily that you can't find a way to be profitable with them, it's like, is it worth the trading? Like right. the mental capital, the risk reward, like over time. And that's where you need to find your focus and stay there because that's where you're gonna make your most easy money. It's gonna be boring and disciplined, but it's going to give you the biggest return over time. And that's that's one of my biggest points too, is it, it, notice that one of the key words you said is boring. I mean, good trading <laughs> is pretty boring, yep. you know, really. If you're, you know, if you're in this for the wild emotional, you know. Swings. <laughs> swings, yeah. You know, if you're in this, you know, for the crazy ex-girlfriend, you know, they, you know, they're fun, but you regret it. They're fun, but you regret it. You know, if that's the way you approach trading, you're not going to be successful over time. I mean, you're, you, good trading over time is kind of boring. It's systematized. It's, you know, it's a lot of days where you're like, okay, this is my setup. It's just not there. I'm not trading today. You know, I'm doing this instead. And, and it should be boring. You know, after you learn, you know, learn a, a strategy that works for you consistently. So. And that's like the realization that I've had to go through this year, which I didn't really have to deal with last year because I was still hungry on the come up and like sticking to what I know and knowing that that makes me money and I'm trying to achieve these price targets, I mean these like profitability targets and stuff. So I was like focused and then this year, it's like it all started with a really amazing February that kind of got my head a little bit too high. <laughs> um, but then I just started doing things I wasn't doing last year, um, trading setups that I didn't know in and out, I wasn't tracking, putting time into oversizing on them all my losses started to get bigger out of nowhere yeah. and it's just it just like slowly happened like that and then it took a big loss and then smaller big losses and then just like for to fall off and like my was just drained completely because i was you know i got into this so i could have the freedom to do whatever i want and not be chained to a desk and then i'm sitting there right. <laughs> blowing money day in and day out and being there longer than the nine to five guy is yep. and i just kind of lost myself there uh in the middle of this year and then so i've just started to get back to it by just taking my focus back to what's made me consistently money over time and just going back to it being boring like the last two weeks have been profitable for me um which is something i can't say for the last like five months of like every single week but it was like the most boring trading I'd done. I was no longer, I'm not no longer trading the morning session anymore because yep. I found out. Love it. I start out negative and then I have to build back in the yep. afternoon instead of. I just try. I the try to tell people all the time, just you know, focus on afternoons. But but anyway, go ahead. Well, <laughs> and some people make their money in the morning and sure. shouldn't be trading sure. afternoon. That's something you need to be aware of, but with yourself and you just need to like. I had to get away from the fun trading, the trying to trade pre-market <laughs> longs, trying to short at the open, trying to play the afternoon. And when your focus is all over the place like that, you're gonna get super random results. Yep. And most times it's gonna be random negative results. Yep. <laughs> and so I was just like, you know, where am I making money, even through this whole period of slow summer and everything, where am I making money? And if I can stick to like three or four trades a week on that, I'm gonna make more money than trying to be everywhere and like hit home runs all over the place. And so it's just that realization, it's one of those things I had to go through that I didn't wanna go through, but now it's going to improve my trading from here on out and something I probably don't have to go through again or a much smaller scale. So you talk about that big loss back in February. Um, I want you to talk about it. You know, it's like I think it's big, to sh important to share. Now, pretty much everybody, you can hear these stories and I want you to hear it and pay attention. You almost always have to live it. That's the bad part, you know, because it, it is interesting the way it works. You can hear about it, hear about it, hear about it but you kind of have to have it happen to you, but, but kind of walk us through that and what sounded like maybe you had a little bit of a confidence issue oh, yeah. or, okay. So we'll start in February. Um, I had a ridiculous month. Everything was working for me. I was trading the best I ever had. I was showing up at 7 a.m. and wasn't done till 6 p.m. Like I, it was like, 
coffee at 2 p.m. Like I need to be alert. Like, <laughs> I was there all day and it was like working out for me. I made like four times as much as I'd ever made in a month. Nice. And um, I had learned a lot of bad lessons in that month. I got bailed out of two times um, shorting these pumps that I'd never done before, but I'd just gotten a new broker that I was allowed me to. Um, and I was, um, I had some really big gains on them and they all started with me being down a lot of money. Okay. Yep. And then me, um, having to go bigger and bigger and then, you know, I'm down 10 K over a week of doing it and then I make 20 and it's net 10. So everything's good. Who, right, who right. remembers when we were down 10? Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> then that happened twice and I got bailed out both times for good gains. What looked to be good gains when you sure. add it all up. Um, and then when you look at the numbers, yeah. when you do the when you do the risk reward calculations, <laughs> maybe not. But when you look at or the numbers, when you look sure. at the week of me not sleeping because <laughs> there you go, there you going go. into the day wondering if this thing crashes without me or if I miss a fill, like it's realized 10k. Mm -hmm. um, and then the same type of trade set up in March, and this was when I was already up a good amount of money in the middle of March. Like my February run kind of continued into March, and then so when you when you have that cushion kind of thing, like you start the week, the first week of the month green, like by a good amount. And you kind of have that feeling like yep. no matter what, I'm not going to be red this month. So I can maybe take a little more size, be a little more aggressive on things, a little more speculative. Um, and that's what I did on a stock that didn't deserve it. It was not trading enough shares. It was like maybe trading hundred K a day. Oh, and I was trying to be 10 K okay. because I know if it dropped $2 a share, that's another $20,000 win. I got it. Cause once you make that big money trade, it's like nothing's good enough. Unless exactly. it's more. Yep, yep. And, um, so that's what happened. I, it wasn't like I shorted and then covered and it was negative 20,000, which was the loss. Um, it was negative 500, negative 500, negative 1,000, negative 500, negative 500. It was three days of like negative 7K, three days in a row oh, wow. of me just going back for more. Like, shoot, I'm down 2K. I can make 2K back on this when it works out. So let's try again. And then and it was like a rule I didn't even know you could break. Like, cause I've always cut losses quickly. And like, and it was like, to my fault during this time, like the cutting losses quickly is what, <laughs> right? Because I was just cons cons uh, just continually to cut a loss over and over again because I would have a risk and it would break, so I'd cut and then I'd restart and then break and then I cut, and it was just like. Meanwhile, obviously the stock is uptrending. Yeah, you know, it's like <laughs> exactly. You're, and all you're doing is shorting in there. Exactly, trying yeah, to yeah. get massive sizes the yeah. second before it like dumps. Yeah. And no, it just I never ended up with the uh, same with when I talk about the times of trading. I just I was down a bunch of money and I never made it on the way down like when it worked so i just ended up with a big loss and then it just from there on out it just was like my confidence was depleted i was like always prided myself on small losses like that's like who i was it was like risk 200 make two grand yeah. like, and for me to to lose that kind of money was like unfathomable i was like <laughs> it took me a while to tell my dad like i didn't post the trade i like, still haven't like just like it shook me up and then I ended up taking like a 5k loss a few weeks later and then and then it was also felt like everything was just going against me and it to a degree but there's always things you can do to minimize that risk like sure. overnight trading like I overnighted some Bitcoin play that I was up two grand on going into the close end up losing 5k on because it Bitcoin took a dump into the into the morning and it's just like that was happening over and over so I'm thinking on this unlucky guy well and, and yeah and that's that's it you know it's like it's in, and uh, you know I, I often joke about like the secret you know and, and but but it's at a certain time when oh, you're yeah. when you're in those slumps you almost I, I say losses but get losses oh. because your mindset screwed up you start and, and, and it's and it just well, it's it's every snowball. day of I'm not a good trader I exactly. suck at this I'm no yeah. maybe I got lucky and then that's what you start seeing every day and then it manifests and, and exactly and it's funny you say that. It's something I've gotten into a lot recently in the last few months. But <laughs> no, and then so I just kind of had to like take the time to get over those things, let the wounds heal. Um, I haven't had a super consistent summer, but it's been a word. Like that was like the bulk of everything that's gone on in the last five months for me. The market's been slow. My niche has been quiet. So yep. I started going out and learning new things. And I, last year I didn't know many, very many traders, but now I talk to on a regular basis a lot of the top traders awesome. so now I have all these ideas going in my head every day of what they're doing oh this guy's making money every week I'm not my niche is slow let's do what he's doing and then I go into that and then I say I'll just trade small I'll learn it I'll do a hundred share thing and then I find myself losing more money on those plays than I lose <laughs> on my niche setups and so it's just a lot of learning this this whole summer and it was oh fine it was fine because the, the losses I've taken over this five months were nowhere near like what I made in February and January. Okay. So it's like, it's just a small step back, but it's felt like it's been so long because it's been so many lessons. Like 
I kept thinking I, I had it. We're about to turn <laughs> on and then boom, another lesson. And I do think I'm at the point now where we're about to get put it behind us for good and the lessons are going to stick and that discipline will come back. But it was just unfortunately something I had to go through. And Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to comment below with any trading related question. We love answering your questions. Also, like and share with your friends and be sure to subscribe to be notified as soon as our next video hits. And if you're looking to expand your trading knowledge, don't forget to check out all of our other videos and be sure to click the trial below. Check out Stocks Trade. I think it is one of the best, most rapidly advancing softwares out there. Be sure to check out our trial.